Hey guys, I'm going to be explaining you how to play Killjoy at a high level on Ascent. In this video, I'll give you different ways and ideas on how to play her. Most of the things I will show you are based off research I've done watching pro VODs and guides. I'll try to link all of this information in the description so you can check it out yourself if you want. The idea of this video is just to condense it down all into one and just make it really concise and simple for you to watch instead of having to go out of the way yourself and find it. <laughs> Starting with the B side, FNS emphasizes the value of using your utility to gain map control and information. This can be done by placing your turret here at the start of the round and mollying B entrance like this. By doing this you want to drain the attacker's utility, not giving them B main for free at the start of the round. After you lose B main control or decide to give it up, you can either fall back the site or play towards mid and then do a setup there. When holding the B site as a solo killjoy, the main thing you want to do is make sure you stay alive and buy time for your teammates to rotate if they do hit. So you want to delay as much as possible with your utility and be a rat. An easy lane setup you can do is just coming here, standing on this, and aiming like just before this red candy cane thing, crouching. Get a good swarm grenade here, or you can just put it there if you don't have a lot of time, like if they're rushing. Then what you want to do, depending on how many nano swarms you have left, you can put one like right here. And you can put your alarm bot here. So like pop as they're running out. And these two nano swarms. Basically you're just gonna microwave the lane. This one hits up here, you can barely see it. This one also does a lot of damage. And if you recall your turret, or like when it comes up after the broken, you can put it here, up here, on here, just pretty much any spot you like. And a really good spot to play is boathouse. You can just swing off you to like once you pop these. They're either going to be running out or falling back. You shoot one, shoot one, fall off. Basically be a rat on site. Try hold it for as long as possible. Alternatively, you can put your util uh, here if you want to. Just like this. That's pretty solid. And then you can put your alarm bot right here. And you can just play at the stairs position. And essentially, whenever your alarm bot shoots, what's here, just peek. Kill one, or just shoot at one, fall back. Don't over fight. If you kill one, you see someone else swing, don't... Don't keep fighting. That's just like a way you can switch it up because you never want to do like the same thing over and over again as a killjoy. If the enemy team's Boss good, they will know what you're doing and realize like guys just microwaving lane every single round and they'll just go around to stairs. Another way you can hold the site, very simple, like this. You can just have another swarm here, another swarm here, or like up here. So it watches both the stairs and the thing. You can literally just play here. This shoots there, pop this, pop this too. Just play time, stay alive for as long as possible. If you decide to go towards mid, maybe your mid teammate dies, or your teammate asks for help mid, or you don't see anyone be main, so you just leave your turret here. A really good spot to play is just right in this corner here, standing here, and like no one ever expects it. Like this is like free kills. You at least get one. Or a really good spot to put your turret. After you take the control, you can recall it, put it there, and then play this spot. Are they gonna come around? They're gonna shoot your turret and you can just swing with it. Free kill, they're not even looking at you. Or you could simply just put like your alarm bot here. Do this, play like this. Pop, that alarm bot goes. Fight, pull back. The best retake ult you can do, look at the minimap, make sure it's covered off. You wanna do it just before this boat. And essentially it's gonna cover off the entire site and the enemy will push you. Like they've got no option. They can't just sit on site to get detained. That's like an insta lose. Like if your teammates are good, they will hold lane with you like this and hold the stairs with you. And you literally just wait for the free pegs as they run up into your crosshairs. If you're on like an eco round, a pretty cheeky strategy you can do that might be able to get you a pick is literally just put your turret here, like the B main control, and just walk out here with a um, shorty. Play close like this, and just wait. Your turret's gonna go off. They're gonna shoot the turret. Shoot the guy shooting the turret. Fall off. And then just play this angle. Maybe if you have a teammate with you, they can also like back you up and try to do like a crossfire with their like classic. <laughs> there are obviously many more setups you could do to hold B in mid, but I'm not gonna go over every single one. For A site, pretty much do the same as B, stay as live as long as possible. Taking aggression is a little harder, but you're gonna need your teammates help. 
You put your turret here, bounce the Molly off the wall so it lands around like here. Just block them from peeking into here early. Like get one of your smokers to smoke this, like a brimstone. And this will give you early a main control. And then from here you can leave your turret or you can like nest one of your teammates in here. Then when it comes to mid round, you can fall back to A site or to yeah. tree holding cubby. When it comes to holding A site, you want to put your alarm bot either against this control panel here or on top of this wire by the grass here and you want to pair it with a nano swarm there if you've only got one and if you have two you can put the other one on this tile it's just going to make this really nice setup you can peek along with for example the nano swarm goes off as soon as they come out because that's the entry line they take pop pop they're in the nano Get a pick while they're in the nano swarm, and they're like, oh my god, I'm in a nano swarm. And you can also do that from up here, and also from gym. So those are three spots you can play with that setup really well. Another viable setup you can use, this is if you're really confident they're gonna come A. Just gonna stop them completely for at least like a few seconds. They come out, pop, pop. You got your turret either here or up there. And then you can just play like backside or whatever. Okay, so if you decide to play towards tree rather than sight and maybe play for the retake, what you can do is put your alarm bot here just so it's watching the run out. You can perhaps have a teammate on site holding with the alarm bot. A nice bot you can do is just place it right here so it'll watch kind of this essentially, like as they're peeking out. Put a molly behind this pot, pot plant, and you can play right here. So the turret's gonna go off, you pop this molly, they're gonna get forced back, they're gonna come out again. And depending on like whether they've got flash champions or not, you can play this angle. If they've got no flashes, or you can play here. Go to pick the angle pretty much like this. Like as they're coming out, pick with off your turret. Maybe you could have like a teammate playing here, and then you can play there, or vice versa. If your teammate sees someone, or you see someone first, play like this, and just hide here in this cubby. They're gonna want to peek you, because there's no like escapage out yeah. of this. Just shoot them. You just gotta be mindful of the agents you're versing. Like, cause you can't play this angle if they've got a Sky or Phoenix. Cause you will get flashed out. And then for your retake molly, super simple. Get up in here. And then you wanna line up this brick. With like these two semicircle holes in the leaves. Throw the nano swarm in the middle. This is gonna land perfectly on wine. So they can't escape. <laughs> And they're gonna get detained or die. That's gonna cover off the whole of site for the retake. You're just gonna be mindful of like a Sova ultimate. Alternatively, if you're playing tree, you can always put like an alarm bot right here and then play tree. Cause you're in range here. So you can really help out your teammates in mid. Like they won't have to worry about this angle as much. That wraps up the defense for Killjoy. I'll be uploading how to play the attacker side soon. Please share this video and subscribe if it helps you in any way. I would like to leave you with a song from Boaster, which wraps up the message of this video. It's just gotta stay alive, innit? Stay alive as a killjoy main. Stay alive as a killjoy main.